Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the wonderful world of Advance, QuickBooks Advance. And we're going to be talking about one of the features they launched with, which was approvals. And we're going to see how approvals has now had a big glow up. So now it is far more impressive than it was when it first launched. So we're going to have a look at it in a little bit more detail and understand exactly how it works. So my name is Aaron Patrick. Let's run the VT and let's figure out exactly why approvals will be perfect for you and your business. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of Fanta New Logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live each and every Monday morning for Ask the Accountant. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking all about the world of approvals. Now, approvals have had a huge update here within QuickBooks Advance. So, this is a QuickBooks Advance only feature but if you listen to our last episode of QuickBooks Labs our monthly podcast you'll notice that Simon had a bit of a tinfoil hat moment and was contemplating the idea that maybe just maybe approvals would be something that could trickle down to other SKUs so maybe into QuickBooks Plus for example we don't know for sure but that does seem to kind of make a lot of sense now we think about it we kind of look at it a little bit more detail especially with some updates that have come into QuickBooks lately so I'm going to go and have a look straight away at the new approval process and we're going to have a look exactly how it can work for you and your business let's have a look okay so where is this fancy little approval process well on the left hand side under workflow automation you'll notice that under QuickBooks Advance you have all all of these new options. Workflow automation used to be just pretty much the My Workflow area. Looked very, very similar to this page here. But now we've got so many more options. Under the template page, we've got all these fancy templates that we can work, for, work through. Um, some brand new ones have been created. But the bit I'm excited for, if I go workflow, is the approvals process. So the approval process now has multiple options to it. We have a bill multi-conditional pro uh, approval. We have an invoice multi-conditional approval and a purchase order multi-conditional multi approval. It's the multi-conditional bit, which is definitely something brand new. So let's just concentrate on the bill one, because I think that's the one where a lot of people will use it more than anything else. And look at this whole new area we have. So the idea is it's more of a workflow um, and it's going to give you opportunities to figure out what to do. So at the very start point, which is up here, you can see that we have workflow started by an event. Bill is created or edited. So basically when a new bill is created, that's when this event's going to kick in. You can even say that if it's between a certain amount, then we have to go and get approvals elsewhere. Maybe it's the fact that if it's not to 100, not to 1,000, it's just going to go to middle management. But if it's 1,000 to 5,000, it's going to go here. And if it's this, this, then it can go from everywhere else. It's just going to make it so much easier for you to be able to define what that is. You could even make it so if it is between there, you could say, I could delete that and say, basically, once that happened, we're good to go. If it's only between not and not thousand pound, we don't need an approval. We can just stop this process now and we can make it approved. So we're going to say that basically if it's a thousand to five hundred, that's when we want a first approval to go on. This time we're going to go to trainer twelve for that one. Press save. If though the bill is even higher than that or between there, and I don't need it to be there. I'm just going to say is greater than. Then if it is greater than five thousand and one then at that point, we need to go and get it approved by Aaron Patrick this time and press save. And if no, nothing gonna happen, but let's just say we got this one. Now that we've gone and put all of our approvals done, we need to then save and turn on the approval process. So now the workflow has been done, let's see what happens when we create a new bill. So I'm gonna go in to the bill section and create a bill. And from here, I'm going to go and say we've bought something from Apple. Now, remember our approval process, right? If it's just £500, so below that threshold, then what should happen is when I press save and close, the is automatically approved, basically. You'll see the bill is auto-approved because we're, we're below that threshold. So if I go over to my expenses, bills area, actually, let's go suppliers and Apple. You see, I can actually attach or add approval status as one of my columns. So let's bring that one on there. 
and you can see there that's one that one's been approved things below it haven't because well we've never touched that one let's put another idea in this time it's going to be a bill and let's say this time it was 2500 save and close so first thing to note is if i go back into there we can see it's not submitted at this point in time so i go into here you can see at the very top here we now have a needs approval status at there so I can save and send for approval now as a new option. So if I press save and send for approval, I've now gone from uh, need approval to pending approval, right? So now I've got these new options to go for. Um, let's make it so it's above a thousand pound next. So I press bill. This time around, I'm gonna do to 6,000 pound and I'm going to save. Now, if I save it instead of saving and close, I then get the send your bill for approval workflow popping up. So I can send for approval and off it goes. So at the moment, I've now got pending approval on two of these. They're going to two different people, remember? But if I was to, you'll see that I've got an email coming through and on that email, it's basically saying, hi, bill for 7,000 for pending approval. Um, please approve at your earliest convenience. If I click on this little button here, and it's taking me directly here. So now, as the approver, I can go through and I can say, yeah, I'm gonna approve that one. But I'm actually gonna reject that one. And my rejection is, um, please review and reject. So now in my task area, that's come through. It's come through directly on my phone. So I then have the option to kind of bring that there. Now, if I go back to here, refresh the screen, you'll notice now that the top one's been ejected, rejected, but this one now has been paid. So that one, that bill there is, is good to go, but the other one, unfortunately, has been rejected. It'll also, also show on my unpaid area here, so I can keep on top of them now. The rejected one, let's have a look at it. See why it's got rejected. Denied approval at the top. You get to said it was denied approval on that date. I can send it back for approval if I'm asking for it. And on my tasks area, you'll see that approval's been coming through from here. So this is where I could do it from a desktop thing. I can click approve. I can even, from here, I can even add some extra documents. I have to put that on there, add some extra bit for that task if I need to. And I've even got an approval area and I can see the history of my approvals and workflows here. So here I can see I completed it, it was started. I can view the action. And here I can see all the information I need. So I've got a whole breakdown of what happened. So I originally asked for approval and then got approval from here as a sign. It then went approved and then it got approved and task was going through from there. Where if, here though, it got rejected. So you can see how the status gets updated for the rejection from it there. But now they've all been approved. I know that this is now working as intended. Remember you can turn this on for sales invoices and also purchase invoices as well. And you can move it around as accordingly. But the way the approval system works is basically you put the information in, you go request the approval. If they're gonna sit in the task area, but you do have options to really look at those notifications as well. So you can look at putting not notifications down in the task area to really define what they can and can't see. You see what was already completed. So these are the bills that are already completed. These are ones that are assigned by, to me and these are assigned to individuals as well. Um, and then you can go through and be able to give the information there. And you can see on my mobile app now or my mobile experience, I can see it from there. Now, that's my only one downfall I'll say at the moment is the fact that even though I am interacting with the mobile and it is working as intended, I'm still only in Safari at this point. What would be actually much better is if this was interacting with the QuickBooks app itself so that then I could get push notifications and be able to prove things directly from here. That to me would be the ultimate goal. But what do you think? What do you think to the approval process? It's really straightforward, right? The idea is that you go into workflow automation to turn approvals on and then you're off to the races from there. It does make it super simple for us to kind of interact with and make our most of it and really get to the bottom of it. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Have you started using approvals yet? Is it something you've started playing around with? Is it something you find a use case for? For me, I have a handful of clients in my firm that are still on zero because of the approval process. It's so important for them to have those approvals going through. Now, 
I can move them over to QuickBooks Advance and I can have that feature for them that's far better for them so that they can have that confidence, the approval's there. And if anything, I now have more information about approvals. I can really deep dive into there and make the most out of it. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, if this has helped you in any way, make sure you use the like, subscribe button, all that sort of stuff. And if you want to know more about what's going on in the world of QuickBooks, you're already in the right place. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you'll be the first to know about any updates that comes to QuickBooks Online. My name's been Alan Patrick. I am the QuickBooks Jap, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to this new scene. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh no, you're alright. Yes, I'm aware we go live every Monday. The next generation is about everyone else that missed it. Yeah. So, come All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start? During that period of time, where did everyone turn to? Their account, right? Their advisors that would give a new, all the phenomenal work for small business.